So the IP fire firewall for the public workstation to access the internet had the original MAC addresses that stayed with the configuration when it was cloned to create each individual pod. We're going to have to go in and reassign those network interfaces. So you're going to log into your IP firewall with root and IP firewall as the password and then type setup. And here we're going to arrow down to networking, hit enter, and then we're going to go to um, drivers and card assignments, hit enter. We're then going to change these settings, so hit OK. And we are going to tab twice to the remove, and we're going to remove the green interface. And then we're going to arrow down to the red, and then tab to remove, to remove the red interface. Now they're unset. So now we're going to assign the red interface to the first card. So make sure you tab over to select and make sure red is highlighted. We're going to assign it to the first interface. And then we're going to arrow up to green and assign green to the second interface. And then we're going to tab to done, tab, tab to done. and wait for it to restart the networking and take us back to the setup window menu. And we're gonna tab to quit and we should be working. To test this while we wait for this to restart, I'm going to go to my public workstation, log in with Kali, and Tor is the password. And I'm going to edit my network settings, my wired connection, IPv4. Right now it's set to automatically obtain an IP address through DHCP. We're going to change that to manual. Add this internal private network is 192.168.1. Um, let's just give ourselves an IP address. No, dot 99. Give ourselves a gateway 192.68.1.1. DNS server should be the public. 24.2340.10. Hit save. And shows it's connected. Go back to my firewall. Looks like we're back at the setup menu. I'm going to tab to quit. And just to make sure, I'm going to ping a public IP address. And we can ping a public IP address. And now I'm going to ping the internal IP address of the Kali Linux server, Linux box, 1.68.1.99. And I can ping that. So now from my public workstation, I should be able to access with the web browser www.firewallvpn. There's the public web server. And if I want to configure the IP firewall settings, I need to access it through a web interface. That's where all of the settings, or most of the settings are. So that's 192.168.1.1 colon 444. And again, that's an HTTPS connection. And the username and password already saved because I had already connected to it. And this is how you configure the IP Fire firewall. So now everything should be working.